So I'm here at the Water Cube with Mary. Uh, Mary, if you could hold up your badge. So, thank you. And Philip. If you... Great, thank you. So welcome, and um, tell me, why are you here? I'm here to attend the Water Week uh, conference, which uh, deals with uh, uh, providing water services for the uh, nation. That is why I'm here, to get to know the techniques that are being used, the technologies that are being used, the approaches that are being used, and especially so for the poor people in the urban areas. So you're both based in Nairobi? True, we are based in Nairobi. We manage a company called Nairobi, water, Nairobi City Water and Sewerage Company that is responsible for supplying the, the water and the sewer services in the city of Nairobi. Uh, a city with a population of over 3.5 million people and uh, it's the heart or, or it's the one that generates uh, most of the wealth that is used or serves the country of Kenya. We are happy to be here to reason and to share the knowledge in water uh, uh, supply services and uh, more so to know uh, what are the emerging issues that uh, as a utility we need to, to address uh, so that we can do better. So I was going to say, so for the, the people here, what, what are the things that you think they need to understand about the situation you face? Yes, they need to understand that in Kenya we have a situation where we have informal settlements which could be defined as formal, informal and informal, informal. In the formal, informal settlements we have some formality in terms of land tenure system and some little planning by the city uh, council of Nairobi. But in the informal, informal we have squatters who are on somebody else's land, either government or, or uh, individual persons and it becomes a very big challenge in terms of provision of sewer and water services to these kind of people because even in terms of laying your pipes, in terms of laying your uh, sewer, they do not have a lot of uh, decision making power on the land that they don't own. So you cannot even give them the services. But we're trying to come up with a proper policy which may be able to get each one of them in their own little structures. So, so what kind of things can be done to service these, this, these groups? What kinds of things can be done is that we need to cooperate with the communities there so that we can come into partnership with them, that w when we meet at them, that they can be able to uh, help us access to read those meters. We can also come up with uh, water vending kiosks which could be managed by the communities themselves and we subsidize the their costs of, uh, of that water because in the informal informal settlements we have very poor people who may not even afford, even after connection, they may not afford to pay their water use. So we need to come up with ways in which we can subsidize that water for the poor of the poorest. Okay, well, thank you very much for both coming into the queue today. Thank, thank you very much. You. Thanks. Thank thanks. You. thanks. Thank you.